time for Petsylvania with Dr. Bob Esplin. Dr. Bob guides you through the latest veterinary techniques and procedures to keep your pets in the best of health. Petsylvania is brought to you by Elanco, maker of Trifexis and Comfortis. With your ears up and tails wagging, here is Dr. Bob. Hey, it's Dr. Bob, and uh, I'm here uh, on a, another nice uh, Saturday and uh, brought to you, of course, by Elanco, maker of Trifexis and Comfortis, the next generation of heartworm and flea control itself in once a month pills. So no no topical applications, no failure to, uh, to work because of application uh, problems. This is a great product, and this is the time of year to get going. If you haven't been doing heartworm year-round, which you should, this is the time of year. Trifexis is you're going to be your product of choice. Shop us and find out. You're going to learn that we have the best prices in the uh, in the area. Just another good reason uh, to uh, to be a Sylvania Vet client. And if you buy 12 Trifexis, regardless of the size, they're going to give you a $25 rebate. You buy six, you're going to get a $10 rebate. So that's a really good upgrade. Hills, uh, the makers of uh, of truly excellent products that are out there in a super premium diet as uh, uh, both uh, science diet and the prescription diet line uh, of foods. One of my doctors, Dr. Andrea, uh, just got back from uh, a trip to Hills headquarters in Kansas. She came back so impressed. She said that I would have no problem recommending every product out of Hills to the exclusion of every other manufacturer. It was just the most impressive thing that she could possibly have imagined. So that's quite an endorsement because we know that the major food manufacturers that we recommend, in Hills is certainly one of the top ones, all do a terrific job with the animals that they use in their research project. Those animals are well cared for, probably better than most of our pets, and as well as their, as their sterility and their cleanliness. And their, but in this case, she was most impressed with the dedication that the employees show and the, and the way they are bonded to the company. I mean, it says an awful lot. Uh, an awful lot. And it's important for you to know who's making your pet's dog food. Esplin Medical, uh, the maker of uh, the most unique, one-of-a-kind type surgical scrubs in the marketplace. There is not another surgical scrub maker that is making a uh, 80% all-natural fiber, which means that it is a renewable resource. In the case of uh, the Esplin Medical bamboo scrubs, it's 55% bamboo, 25% cotton, and only 20% polyester. That difference between uh, regular scrubs at generally 65% polyester and 20% polyester makes these things so comfortable. It's like wearing pajamas when you're when you're working. It's a great, great product. Uh, www.esplinmedical.com. We'll talk a little more later, but their Esplin Medical is going to have a booth at the uh, Sylvania Expo. They're going right now, as a matter of fact, started at nine o'clock this morning, and they'll be there till three. So stop by, and particularly if you're in the health profession, uh, come by and buy a pair. You're going to love them. You're going to ultimately want more course, Sylvania Vet, uh, my business, is a sponsor, and uh, we uh, we cl- have a little tagline. We have a number, actually, that we use because th- there's so many different things that are cool about Sylvania Vet, but the, the main one is your 24-7 pet care destination, and where that came from was a friend of mine and I sat down when I was going through the concept for Sylvania Vet. He took something off of the movie Field of Dreams, and he said, uh, build it and they'll come. It's a destination. So I got thinking, yeah, it's a pet care destination destination and we're we're available for our clients and our patients 24/7 so it became a 24/7 pet care destination what that means is is that you may have to interpret destination pet care destination but the reality is anything you need for your pet it would be very unusual that you couldn't get it at Sylvania Vet so call us and test us and see if see if we're there at two in the morning call us and test us and see if we can meet that given need uh, that you have for your pet call us uh, and test us to see if we'd be happy to give you a second opinion on a difficult diagnosis that your pet may have had. Call us if your pet is in a hospital and they want to keep it overnight, but they don't have anybody in the building. Don't keep it in a hospital where there's nobody in the building. And don't transfer it to the uh, emergency clinic when you can transfer it to Sylvania Vet because our fees are going to be remarkably better than the emergency clinic's fees. So 419-885-4421. 
what you're listening to something that was pre-recorded before a big event, uh, and probably the biggest event in my life, which occurred on Wednesday, the uh, the 20th uh, of this week. And that is, I had triple bypass surgery at Toledo Hospital, and I also had my left carotid artery cleaned out at the same time. I want to tell you that it's really an eye-opener, and I want to encourage uh, every each and every one of you to uh, get regular checkups uh, with your doctor. Listen to what they say. Watch your diet. Watch your exercise level. I had literally no clinical signs. It was a complete shock and surprise to me that all of a sudden I found out that I had three arteries that were clogged and that needed to be bypassed uh, because I was in grave danger of having a, uh, having a heart attack. So all those warnings that we hear about heart attacks, when they don't happen, it doesn't mean you don't have a problem. And so you don't want to wait until there's a problem. So today what we're going to do, and I'm going to probably end up uh, you know, kind of bouncing back and forth about my health and and what uh, what led me to uh, having to have this bypass. And uh, hopefully, because you're listening to me today, it means that uh, that I uh, did well and that everything is going well and that I'll be back back in the saddle here uh, sooner rather than later. But I do expect to be off work until about the 20th of May. So my, my five remaining doctors at the office uh, have committed to picking up the slack and carrying the load and seeing to it that the quality of care at Sylvania Vet, if not every bit the equal it was the day I left last Thursday on my last day at work, or better when uh, when I come back. Let's try to take my health issue and kind of morph it into uh, some uh, some information as it relates to, to our animals and well. And so where this all started was with my annual wellness exam with my doctor back in November. And certainly we strongly encourage every owner of a dog or a cat or a bird or a rabbit or a ferret to have annual wellness exams for your pet as well. Without that annual wellness exam and the thoroughness of Dr. Craig Hopple, I wouldn't know I, I need this surgery on Wednesday. And the first indicator might have been a major, major heart attack. So I cannot tell you just because your cat is indoors and never goes out and you don't think it needs vaccines, that's the world's worst reason to not bring your cat in. Just because your cat gets stressed when it uh, when it sees the carrier come out. We need to train your cat and help you train your cat. And as a cat-friendly practice, we can do that to help make the trip to the vet a more positive experience for both you and uh, your cat. But don't let that discourage you from bringing your cat in. The most important thing to do is to schedule a wellness visit. And then once that wellness visit's in there, what's the priority of things that we want to talk about? And the, uh, the most important thing that we do uh, when we start that visit it is that we take a history now we may be examining the cat or the dog at the same time but that history the questions how's it doing what's the water consumption like how's its appetite is its weight stable has it lost weight has it gained weight how's its activity level is there any limping a myriad of questions that we ask at those visits all point us in a direction so that we can pinpoint diagnostics we can pinpoint recommendations to you and we can do things that will just like Craig Hopple did for me point me in the direction to head off a, a major catastrophic health experience that, uh, God forbid, I might not have uh, might not have survived. After that um, history comes a thorough exam where we're looking at all parts of the animal, and we're looking at eyes, and we're looking at nose, and we're looking at the teeth, and we're flipping the lip, and we're looking down their throat and getting them to say ah if we can. You know, we're feeling the lymph nodes re- regionally that are all palpable. We're looking at the skin. We look down the ears, check the skin to see if it's too oily, too dry, too flaky, patches, lots of shedding. What are the what things are going on? And just right from top to bottom, front to back, we check everything. And then we listen to the chest and we listen to the heart rate and rhythm. We listen to the lungs and the respirations. And then we palpate the abdomen uh, and feel for abnormalities. So it's time for a break and we'll continue with uh, that wellness visit information.
and we're still in the midst of our wellness exam and done our exam, we've done our palpation. Now we may start talking about testing. What needs to be done? Blood test in a dog for heartworm and um, rickettsial diseases, part of an annual wellness visit. But are we old enough to justify doing annual blood work? I'm not sure that I don't think that, e- that every animal could benefit from it, but certainly when we cross over uh, dogs from like seven to nine years of age, nine being about the latest that we'd want to start wellness testing, that would be the time for that. Is it a breed with a predisposition to uh, to heart problems, uh, Dobermans, uh, boxers? So would we want to do an electrocardiogram to see if there's the beginning of that? Cats too. There are cats that have predispositions to to some heart problems that we would uh, that we would want to look at in a, an electrocardiogram, or maybe even a chest X-ray. How about a golden retriever or a flat coated retriever, and with their incidence of problems with their uh, spleens, should we be thinking about uh, an ultrasound of the abdomen as a health screening tool, x-rays of the chest for uh, just routine purposes, or if we've heard a murmur, establishing a baseline. So there's lots of testing that we can recommend. Then after all of that, we're down to necessary vaccine. Fourth and most important part of that visit are the vaccines. Quality vaccines today are such that we can, if we have to delay or miss or skip vaccines or we get old enough well up into the double digits in years, we may not vaccinate anymore and your animals may still be protected or at far less risk and the vaccines may pose more risk than others. So again, I want you to reset your thinking. I want you to reset priorities and I want you to think annual, minimum of annual wellness wellness visits for your dog, annual visits for you. If we start to get older and your physician says, I want to see you every year, don't put it off. Get it done. I'm not the world's best patient. This has been a tremendous eye opener for me. With all the things that we've talked about that might be available to do at a wellness exam, this is where I think that the idea of of pet health insurance really uh, enters into the mix. And I would certainly encourage you to look at that. You can call our office, 419-885-4421. Ask us about about brochures. Ask us to get together some brochures for health insurance companies. Or the world-famous Google search. Get on there and do some research. There's about 15 companies carrying health insurance and And like everything else, they are not all created equal. Some are far better than others. And so you need to see which one of those meets meets your needs. But I will tell you, they are all very affordable. I got rambling in that first uh, section, and I'm now down to the end of where I was supposed to break. But uh, what I'm going to do is I was going to salute my staff. And I want to salute my staff from Terry, my uh, practice manager, through my five doctors, led by uh, my most senior associate, Jen Tate, who's really going to pick up the mantle, who's going to carry the load of uh, medical surgical director and see to it that the quality of care at Sylvania Vet doesn't change to all my technicians and my and my very dedicated staff members throughout at daycare and boarding and grooming and uh, in medical surgical. I just can't tell you how much of a load they took off of me when they've assured me that everything is going to be fine. So thank you guys for being there for me. It's really, uh, it's going to make my recovery much better and much faster. Sylvania Business Expo is today, and uh, we want you to attend that. So you still have some time. Head on out there and, and check it out. There's a, over, well over 100 area businesses. WSYL will be there. World famous producer Steve is going to be there. You'll get a chance to meet him. He'll tell you about his his truly awesome uh, radio show where they talk about NASCAR every week. I find that pretty fascinating in, it, in itself, how a northern boy from Toledo can be so into the southern NASCAR circuit, but it's uh, I guess it's becoming much more worldwide. I'm really pleased to uh, follow up with uh, some of the great programming that's on WSYL. I'm going to talk a little bit about the health seminar we're going to hold in April. Originally, it was going to be on a uh, on a the topic of um, how to read a pet food label and other pet food related questions. But I was going to be a part of that and going to do part of the presenting. So what we've done is we've moved it around. And and Dr. Tate, Dr. Jen, for about ten years was a member of a national veterinary response team called a VMAT team, which is part of FEMA. She was deployed on three different occasions, but the big deployment was her deployment to Hurricane Katrina. 
Katrina. The offspring of that was um, a lot of things that were learned by VMAT people and FEMA in general about people and how they respond to storms and stress. Hurricane Charlie is another example and what happened down in Florida where people weren't going to the rescue shelters because the rescue shelters didn't allow animals in. So she's talk about her experiences there. She's going to talk about the experiences that she had at, at Hurricane Katrina. She'll probably talk a little bit about how she got us involved in the Hurricane Katrina problem as well as being her northern surrogates. We carried the load for her when she was gone for two weeks, and we also did a fundraiser where we literally raised about a 30-foot moving van full of supplies that she said that they were going to need down there that we uh, did it in a period of about 10 days, shipped it down to Jackson, Mississippi, provided food and water and uh, cleaning materials and cages and cat litter and on and on and on for a large number of people. Plus, we raised through the generosity of of people in Northwest Ohio over $17,000 that went to the Mississippi Veterinary Medical Association to assist with veterinary practices that were uh, uh, were really destroyed. Another interesting fact that uh, comes out of that Hurricane Katrina is, is that there were thousands of animals that were displaced, and a huge percentage of those have been relocated and were relocated throughout the country, finding good forever homes because literally their owners could not be found. And the interesting thing is a high percentage of those animals were heartworm positive as well. It emphasizes the importance. We live in a, in a heartworm hotbed. Mississippi is truly a, a heartworm hotbed, but uh, it emphasizes the need to provide year-round parasite control for heartworms and internal parasites. And we, we still recommend fleas and uh, control in that regard as well. What I'd like to do now is just, uh, again, I saluted my staff. I think that they are going to do a stellar job. I would doubt you'll even notice that I'm gone. That would be the ultimate comment compliment as far as I'm concerned that uh, they would not notice that I'm gone. But I want, also want to give a, a big hoorah to um, Craig Hopple, whom I've already mentioned, and then to uh, Dr. John um, Letcher of uh, Northwest Ohio Cardiology Associates. Uh, he was the lead guy in getting me in to uh, find out my my problems. Uh, Dr. Michael Morant, uh, cardiovascular surgeon that done my transplant. Uh, Dr. John Piggott, who uh, vascular surgeon that did my carotid artery, and then the myriad, and I mean myriad, of highly trained, high quality uh, nurses, assistants, physicians assistants, nurse anesthetists, the list goes on and on. Dozens of people that were there pulling for me. And then, of course, my clients, my staff, my friends, my family who are all there for me saying prayers. And I I cannot tell you how much I appreciate uh, every single one of you. So with that, we're going to take our last break and come right back. Well, I'm back to uh, to close out today's program, and the take home for today's program is wellness exams. Don't ignore them in your pet. Don't ignore them for you. Take good care of your health. Take good care of your pet's health, because then we'll all live longer, happier, healthier lives. So, again, I cannot overemphasize annual wellness exams for you that are listening and for the pets that are sitting there uh, watching you listen and begging you for begging you for a treat. Watch your diet. I've started doing that. What an eye-opener that is. I'm reading a book on nutrition by Bob Hunter, who's the uh, one of the men that's on The Biggest Loser Show, and he's written a, 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 a very doable diet book. But the key here is, you know, all the things that we've heard Avoid processed foods, avoid sugar, avoid sweet drinks, uh, don't drink your calories, you know, and it goes on and on and on. Avoid uh, processed flour, avoid processed sugar, all that stuff. The common sense things, the things that we hear all the time. But, uh, you know, now it has real meaning to me because I had no idea that I had clogged coronary arteries and I don't have any history of it in my family. I'm totally to blame because of my eating habits. For the remainder of my life, that's changed. And you're going to see a thinner Dr. Bob, that's for sure. 
Alanco, my first sponsor and my lead sponsor, who's of Trifexus and Comfortis. Thank you for your support uh, in bringing us Pennsylvania. Remember, if you have great flea control, you also help control internal parasites, specifically tapeworms. So I think that'll be helpful for you. Hills, uh, the makers of uh, Science Diet and the makers of Prescription Diet, their newest entry into the Prescription Diet line, Metabolic Diet. It is a game changer when it comes to weight loss uh, in pets. It's actually designed to help turn on fat burning uh, enzymes in your body that have been shut down by hormones that fat secretes. You didn't know that that fat hanging over your belt actually had a production of hormones was trying to act in self-preservation. And so they have figured out a way to turn on those genes that the fat burning and help get rid of that Dunlap disease. Many of us, uh, many of us have. Esplan Medical Scrubs, great product, more comfortable than uh, pajamas, kind of like Superman, a leap of building in a single bound. This is able to make you comfortable with one pair of scrubs. You're going to love them if you wear them. It's esplanmedical.com um, on the internet. You can see them on eBay. You can come to the expo uh, today and buy them, and you're going to be able to buy them at Toledo Family Pharmacy, and you're going to be able to buy them at Westgate Family Pharmacy as well, Sylvania Vet. We have obedience classes starting later this month. We, you should sign up. If your dog's never been to obedience class, it's not too late. I'd get there. And, of course, we have the, we have the best daycare in the area. It's the safest. It's the cleanest. It's the most interactive with, with people. We do not leave the animals on the floor alone or outside alone. They are supervised at all times. We know these pets. We know you. We know who they belong to. Uh, We actually heard a story where uh, three times an area daycare brought the wrong beagle out to uh, to the family. How reassuring would that be? The seminar April 24th, 730 at Sylvania Vet. Dr. Jen Tate's going to be talking about uh, animal rescue as it relates to uh, uh, crisis management. I think you'll find it really interesting. There's going to be door prizes. There's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. Come and, uh, come and support Jen and listen to what she has to say. I think you'll be most impressed. And with that said, there's only one greatest pet, and it lives in your home. You have been listening to Petsylvania with Dr. Bob Esplin on WSYLradio.com. Petsylvania is brought to you by Elanco, maker of Trifexis and Comfortis. Tune in every Saturday at 10 a.m. as Dr. Bob explains the latest in veterinary care and answers your questions. You can email your pet questions to requests at wsylradio.com and Dr. Bob will answer them on a future show.